to be your mayor and you know why I'm blessed because this has been a journey our heritage in Patterson and our existence in Patterson has been a journey my journey started with my grandparents bringing my mother and father here and then they went to school six and they continued and they got married and then my sister my brothers we were born in Patterson and my mother continued to instill in us the legacy of what we were about, our dreams. She taught us. And then one day my mother started talking about Dr. King. My mother loved Dr. King. I remember when my mother got up and she got ready to go to Washington, D.C. And at that time, we couldn't stop in restaurants to eat. So she was preparing food to go on the bus so that she could be there with Dr. King. Dr. King came to Patterson and he inspired Patterson. Dr. King and all the people that stood with Dr. King is the reason why I stand here as your mayor of the city of Patterson. All right. yes, yes, yes. I am so blessed to be your mayor I am blessed to have a council president and a municipal council that supports me. Our city has come a long way. And we were here, we were here from 1792. We continue, we were in this city and we helped build the city. And we will continue, we will continue to build our city and our legacy. We have come this far by faith. And I know that God isn't gonna leave us. We have a library director, Corey Fleming, and I thank God for him because he's going to continue teaching our history in the city of Patterson. We have a legacy. We have a legacy to uphold. We have a responsibility to teach our children. Black history isn't just one month. Dr. King taught us black history is every day, and that's what we need to practice. And he ordered, he also taught us that black history isn't just about African Americans. He preached unity. He preached equality. And there, he preached equality for all of us. Patterson is like a dozen roses with all different colors. We're all different colors, but we're one nation. We're one city under God. I just want to tell you a little about a grant. A grant that uh, our Historic Preservation Director, Gia Franco, Archmead, I always get his name wrong, <laughs> and also Mr. Jimmy Richardson, who was the person who was responsible for helping to get this grant in the city of Patterson. There were 13 states who was vying for this grant, and we were lucky enough to be one of the municipalities and one of the states that got this grant. Yes. Our grant is for $35,000, and let me just read a little about it. Allow me to just read a little bit about our grant. Through this award, the city of Patterson will focus on the African-American experience in Patterson, New Jersey, 
African Americans within Patterson are among the earliest groups of people in the colonies and the new nation. The earliest stories of both slavery and abolition, including the role of the Underground Railroad, are both deeply embedded in Patterson's history. Four of New Jersey's Underground Railroad routes ran through Passaic County, making Patterson a well-organized station. Following in the early abolitionist past, Patterson played an integral role in the events of the 20th century social and civil rights movements related to the African American experience in our American history. Funds through the underrepresented communities grant will help the city of Patterson nominate four sites to the state and national registers of the historic places. Now I'm gonna just, if you allow me, just let me tell you a little bit about the grant. Last month, an underground and underrepresented communities history grant in the amount of 35,000 was awarded to the city of Patterson by the National Park Service. With the help of Jimmy Richardson and the community between 2010 and 2013, the City of Patterson Historic Preservation Commission submitted nominations for historic designations for four African American sites in Patterson. The Hooton Van Rensselaer Underground Railroad site, Bethel AME Church, where Dr. Martin Luther King spoke in 1968, which was also the Community Church of Love, the Community Church of Love on Broadway, where Rosa Parks visited and spoke twice, and First AME Zion Church on Summer and Ellison Street. The City Council designated all of these as a municipal historic landmarks in our city. Now let me just say one thing. Allow me to say one thing. I was baptized in First AME Zion Church on Summer and Ellison Street. Did I know that it was going to be a historical site? No, <laughs> not at that time anyway. This was, a, this was a great first step and gave us much pride and a path to winning this grant, which allows us to take a closer look at the African American experience in Patterson and how these sites are connected to it. This is the first time that professional historians will be able to document how our city and these sites are linked to our national history and write a report on it. They should also be able to fill out detailed nomination forms for the sites to be listed to the National Registrar of Historic Places and to nominate Patterson's Underground Railroad site to the National Park Service's Network to Freedom, which will link it to other sites nationwide. Our request was for $50,000, so we were awarded just over half. Instead of cutting back on the overall scope of this project, I pledge that the City of Patterson will put in an additional $15,000 to take advantage of this unique opportunity in order to fully complete the concept of the project. The document the history of African Americans in Patterson and to be recognized in the larger history of our nation is such a valuable endeavor to honor our ancestors, their trials and tribulations, and to pass on to our children with whom the future trials and triumphs will belong. We will certainly do everything that we can to continue our history and this award will allow us to continue uh, the studying of our history in Patterson. And thanks to Jimmy Richardson and the Historic Preservation Board and our library board who continue to advocate our history and continue to teach. It is our responsibility to teach our children our history. So let us not ever forget what we are here for. Thank you very much and God bless you. And keep the faith because we've come this far by faith. Yes, I remember in college playing football. I, before for practice, I would write a poem or read a poem. And they're like, what you doing reading poems? You know, thinking football players don't read poems, but we do. Uh, Mayor, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for those kind words because we did speak, uh, spend a lot of hours talking about history and different things. So I appreciate you. And Council Member President, you know, appreciate you and thank you too for being here. Congratulations. Um, 
Now to have both of you here, actually, you know, this would be a good fitting time to speak about uh, honoring one day Jimmy Richardson for the true historian. So I think I, I know you tell it. I don't want to be out of place, but uh, I want that to be duly noted because I heard that he was uh, uh, awarded at two years ago, uh, but not truly given the proper uh, 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 decoration. So let's let's do that. Not like this. Not like this. Yes. Okay. As we continue, uh, oh, um, I also want to share. You know, talking in history. The 60s were trying times, and I know I was too uh, 50 years ago, so I'm not going to say that I remember, but I have uh, learned a lot about the 60s. And when uh, the congressman talked about three individuals being assassinated, we need to talk about several people got assassinated. And it started with Edgar, um, Megger, Edgar, Megger, A, Megger, A, Megger Everest, excuse me, um, and the NWCP leader. He was the first in June, June 11th, 1963. Okay, so, and then it was Robert Kennedy, um, John F. Kennedy, in 63 as well, November 2nd, uh, 22nd. And then we had Malcolm X, February 1st, 65, you know, um, who uh, was assassinated. And then we had Martha Luther King, and June 4th, 68. And then we had Bobby Kennedy, June 6th, 68. So when you talk about those are the individuals I talk about in the 60s as being assassinated, not even talking about the ones that's been lynched, we can go on and talk about. But so when we talk history, especially during Black History Month, I like to hear all of them, not just a few. And um, that, that's my little pet rock speaker.